Derelict RVs are filling up tow lots like this one all over the state. But now, here in Clallam County, three cities have a plan to do something about it. That one's been here almost a year. Port Angeles Code Enforcement Officer Glenn McFall makes his regular rounds, but right now those rounds are largely redundant. I'm very frustrated. Derelict RVs, cars and campers, and all that goes along with them are littering city streets. This one could be legally impounded, but... We have no place to put them. The local tow yard where impounded vehicles are stored is completely full. About 20 being held at this facility where they can attract rats and become a health hazard. Most of them are a total disaster. They, uh, they've had no maintenance. The uh, tanks are full as far as the sewage. With the people living in the cars now, uh, there's been more and more uh, these cars being dumped on us. This is Dave Arstett's auto graveyard at Evergreen Collision. He has no room for any more RVs, some of them 32 feet long. He says getting to the point where a vehicle can actually be impounded is very tricky as it has to be vacant. If we miss that specific point when we can actually get it and get it ready to dispose of, uh, a, another person or family might move into there, then it starts the whole process all over. But Port Angeles is now working on a plan to construct additional storage at Evergreen to add 17 RV spaces. It'll be a 10-year lease costing about $10,000, a private-public partnership that'll allow police to remove these RVs in days as opposed to months. Now, it won't solve all the problems of the world, but for us, for what, what we have right now, it's a huge improvement. If all goes as planned, authorities hope to have that new lot opened here by fall. In Port Angeles, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.